as you can tell, I got everything tore apart. It's completely demolished. The petition has been pulled out because I'm going to change the flooring here. I'm going to put a stone floor. Let's see, down here. I'm going to put a stone floor in the kitchen. And instead of having the, the doorway out clear out to the end here, I'm going to put it right here. So this will sit kind of like that. So I'm going to have to fill that in, chop the, these off. And then the stone is going to come around and uh, be part of the entryway. We'll put a little rug there for wiping their feet. And that's as far as I've got as, as far as what I want to do with the floor. In the meantime, I want to get this second floor started. So I've taken uh, masking tape and taped the piece of poster board that's, this, that's an eighth inch wide. And I'm just going to trace this line here. Okay. We need to cut along the outside edge here. I don't know if this is right or not. I'm just doing it. I don't know whether I should be doing the side wall to the kitchen first. So what I want to do is turn this around because I've already got a square edge here. So we're going to go nine and a half inches tall. So that would be right here. And we want 9 and 13 sixteenths. So that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, right in between that. Wait. Let's see how we did. That's pretty darn good. Now we need to do some calculating because I want to put some windows on the side of the house, on the side of the kitchen. And normally I would just copy this and measure up and trace it, but this window has to be altered. Because if I put a sink in here or a countertop right here, it's going to cut right into that window. So I have to do some calculating and we will be right back. Well, poop. I thought I was recording and all this time I've been drawing and measuring and so uh, I don't know where I am. Um, I'll have to do check that in the editing. So I'll just recover what I just did. On this wall and on the front of the house, or front, front window, I measured up three quarters of an inch and then another quarter of an inch. And this is where my window is going to begin. Here's the petition between the two windows. The windows are 64 millimeters wide by 82 millimeters high. So I just drew that line and now I'm about to square up the windows and then get those cut out. Let's see how bad, let's see how badly I can cut this out. Probably should watch a few more videos. Okay, time for spackling. Oh, I'm such a, an organized, unholy mess. You can't see what I'm doing. Sorry. I just put a bunch of it in there and I took my tongue, or not tongue depressor, whatever the stick is. And now I'm just filling in my rips and tears from when I deconstructed the house. Filling in these gaps. Probably should be using wood filler, but that's upstairs. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Just pretty much like everything else I own. Okay, this is dirty, so I'm going to throw this in the garbage. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to overfill these a little bit and then come back with a sandpaper and knock it back. I just want to make sure that those are nice, nicely packed. I'm going to get a different tool. All right. All right. 
Now we'll let that dry. We've got everything dried. It's the next day. I did some filing and I see a lot of stuff that I missed. And I've got my Dremel tool with my cutting tool on it. And I'm going to try some wood filler. See if that makes a difference. But I want to file out some of these corners first. I guess these don't really have to be perfect because I'll be putting window frames around the windows once I get them in. So let's get some wood putty. See if that is a little more stable. Okay, we'll let that dry. And now we're going to go in and we're going to cut off those tabs. I'm going to move my coffee. So what I'm going to try to do is just to give it a score and then we'll come back and cut it all off. That got a little hot. So I'll take my sanding block. We got a sand. I already sanded this window. Let's see if I can peel this masking tape up so we can see what it looks like underneath. Seems off. That looks a little better. Oops. <laughs> I was looking at the camera and I banged it and I broke my tip. So I gotta grab another one here. Okay, I got all the tabs cut off except for this side here. I'm going to leave that on um, for now because the wood has got to sit on top of, this wall has got to sit on something, so I'll have to fill that in. So now instead of having a whole wall blocking off the kitchen, I'm going to turn this into kind of like a peninsula slash island and the countertops are right here, but I want to have this to be a little higher so that it can be kind of like a bar stool area and now you'll notice that this is too short for my to go to my ceiling so I'm gonna have to build out a beam right there so what I'll do is I'll measure in we'll do five centimeters that would be it that would be a nice beam don't you think uh, boy that looks short what do you guys think if I put that right there at five millimeters I think that's awful skinny. Let's see, one inch is 25 millimeters. A whole centimeter looks a little bit too... Well, let's do a whole centimeter. And that way then, if I don't like it, I can cut back, right? Okay, now I'm going to score this a little bit so that my blade has got somewhere to go. And voila! So now, and we'll see what we've got for wood. When you have a ceiling joist or a ceiling beam, it's usually a foot. So we're going to go 25 millimeters. Okay, for a beam, I think that's good. A-Ray uses Aline's Tacky Glue. Uh, this is all I've got. Uh, oh, I do have wood glue, but this is a quick and thick.
so much work. <laughs> Woo! It's fun though. I'm enjoying it. I love puzzles. This is a very fun puzzle for me. I'm, I've, I built a house before. Uh, my dad built furniture and I, I got a penny per staple when he would get a piece of furniture that they had to do, uh, um, oh, what's the word where you take off the fabric and put new fabric on. <laughs> he would give me a penny for every staple I pulled out of the, of the furniture. Yeah. So yeah, and I spent a lot of time playing in the sawdust pile while he was working on the band saw and the table saw and and uh, he built Barbie doll sofas that were overstuffed and fur and had a little mirror in it and the seat in the back would flip up and he built everybody, all the babies, a rocker, uh, knick-knack shelves, oh, oh my gosh, all kinds of stuff he built. So I learned uh, kind of like absorption through him. Learned how to sew through my mom and my grandma. So this kind of, this is kind of like right up my alley. Now, with that said, I don't know if I will do more than two of these. Because I have another granddaughter who wants a Hollywood glam house. And I have no kit for that. So we're going to have to start from scratch. That's come That will come after I get this one built. Ara, this is all your fault. <laughs> no, it's actually Connie's fault for giving me the house. Let me get my books off here. I got a little hit of myself doing the walls. And after I put this wall in, I thought, oh no, I need to have this level. I need to do the floor first. <laughs> so that's what I did. And I'm like, I don't know if I can do this with my camera. My tripod is only so tall. Let's see. I got a three-sided porch instead of a two-sided porch. I'm just like going crazy. And I cut these pieces out for my double window. But here's my, here's my outside wall from the kitchen. And uh, let's come back in a little closer here. I got this piece all set up for the peninsula. So I I put a line on the floor. I don't know if you can see it or not. I got just got a sliver in my finger. So I'm gonna put that right there. And put my square up against this because I want to make sure that this is square. And now I can put a mark where that needs to be glued just to the right of that. I'm using tight bond, it's the only thing I got. Well, I've got super glue. In fact, I may use it here on this piece. Oh, I am such a dunce. Ugh. See, I should have drawn this. I should have drawn the map out. That's what I should have done. I just realized that I forgot to put the study in. and now my three-sided porch only covers two rooms. So I'll have a think. You guys looking at my hands? That's funny. I'm going to get the super glue. Okay, I'm going to leave it at this. I will um, put some wood putty. Let's see here. Let me show you. I'll put some wood putty right down in here to get that nice and flush. Oh, before I go, I'll show you my pictures here. These are going to hang in the living room. Aren't they pretty? This is my color scheme for the house. Love those colors. And I've got... <laughs> this is um, just some unbleached muslin. I printed, I stuck it to some freezer paper and I printed them out. This is going to be a wall hanging for one of the bedrooms. This one I think is going to go in the study. Isn't that cool looking? 
Either or. It, either this will go in the study or these will go in the study. And then the other one will go in the living room. And I already printed this out. This is going to be the living room rug. Isn't that cool? And I started pulling the, the fringe. So that it'll be nice and frayed. Just like that. So, all right. <sighs> quick, quick, quick. No rest for the wicked. Wow, that's good. All right. Till next time. Love you. Bye-bye.